I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is the American Revolution Battles and Events Part 3. Okay, take two fingers over here and let's put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way over to the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line up. Connect. Inside this rectangle, we're going to draw 12, 1777. That is December of 1777. Why is that important? Because... That is when Washington took all of his Continental Army troops to Valley Forge and they made their winter encampment. So we're going to put wavy line down on the right, wavy line down on the left, wavy line over, wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up. Come inside, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And now at this point, we're just going to go wavy line over, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. What is that? They ended up building, wavy line, wavy line, log cabins to house all of the troops and the people who were with them. So we're going to draw a baby circle, big curve line baby circle, curve line on the right, curve line on the left, dot, dot, little curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. There were women that followed the troops and not only did the women come but so did their children and babies. Baby circle, baby circle, dot, dot, dot. Then there were also baby circle, straight line, zigzag, zigzag. There were also indigenous people that were in camp, dot, dot, dot. There were enslaved and free people, dot, dot, in camp also. So there were also European immigrants in camp. So this winter encampment had everybody there. And it was a tough winter, but it wasn't deadly. So we're going to go one, two, three, make some s snowflakes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, maybe one more. And I think it's indicative of the colonies and of the people fighting for the revolution. Everybody was in this encampment women, children. European immigrants, wavy line down, free people, enslaved people, indigenous people, everybody was there. Okay, come down to the bottom, straight line, straight line over, straight line up, and this is 2, 6, 17, 78. So from Valley Forge to this space, is basically three months, let's say. And this is super important. This is the Treaty of Alliance with France. Now you gotta remember, France is over in Europe, right by Great Britain. They've been fighting off and on forever. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. One, two straight lines inside. Come down here, we're going to put curve line, big curve line, curve line, straight line across, curve line inside. Curve line down, up, connect, 
little curve line left, right, wavy, wavy, dot, dot, curve line, dot. This was super important because France provided money and military assistance. If they hadn't shown up, we'd still be with Great Britain. We didn't have any money at all. Right next to that, wavy line down. Come down to the bottom, straight line, straight line, straight line up. And this is October 10, 1781. So this jumps almost a couple of years because we're still fighting. So this is the Battle of Yorktown. So even with France helping us, we still had some major battles to go through. But this is when France, straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line, little curve line, big curve line, curve line, curve line, dot, dot, smile. This is when Britain finally surrenders. And who helped from France? Lafayette. Now these are all very important because this is how we bonded with France so much that that's part of the reason why we got the Statue of Liberty later on. So anyways, it took Britain, they still fought for three weeks, but they finally surrendered. And I'm going to put another crown down here. Straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, zigzag, zigzag. Baby circles if you can fit them. And then that circle with the slash. So it was three weeks, three weeks. Britain finally surrenders. Couldn't have done it without France and Lafayette again. Wavy line going down. Finally, straight line, straight line, straight line up. September 3rd, 1783. So now we're still almost a year and a half after the Battle of Yorktown. We finally signed the Treaty of Paris. And there we are. We're in France. Here's our dove. Curve line down, up. Here's our wavy line, wavy line, dot, uh, signed by the American colonies and Great Britain. A lot of people don't know, this whole revolution took eight and a half years. It was not easy. Put a dot, oval, wavy line left, wavy line right, little boxes. This is Benjamin Franklin. He was part of the delegation from the colonies to Paris to get everything signed. Now, Triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. Tri uh, straight line, straight line, triangle. Triangle, straight line, triangle. Now, what is this? Once they signed everything, everybody got property, more land. So East, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 East of the Mississippi River became part of America, or the colonies, I should say. South from Canada also became pro our property. And north from Florida. <clears throat> so not only did they win their independence, they also got property. What's the crazy part of that? The Native Americans, the indigenous tribes, were there. So we're taking property away from them, but what are you going to do? Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is pretty easy to color in because you don't want to color over all of your drawings and your labels. But I'm going to put my Colonial Woman in pink. 
And I'm just going to go through and color her with my apricot peach multicultural and the baby multicultural and the French multicultural and Benjamin Franklin multicultural. So they all have a little bit of color. If you don't have that, don't worry, no problem. My indigenous people over here, my tribal people, I'm going to make them light brown. My enslaved slave people, I'm going to make light brown. I am going to take my red and do this space of the French flag. If the French hadn't come in, we would have been in big time, big trouble. Do that little baby circle. Do my battle lines. Pretty intense, and my directional arrows. Yes, the French saved us, and this is also, I think, part of the reason why they bonded with the United States, and that's how we ended up with the Statue of Liberty. Now, this space should be blue. I'm going to put some little blue straight lines on my winter encampment. I'm going to color these in blue because these are the French. If the French hadn't shown up, who knows what would have happened. This is Lafayette, another Frenchman. And my crown, I'm going to make yellow. And I'm going to put a little bit of green on my doves. Laurel. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my American Revolution Battles and Events Part 3 all colored in. Do not forget it took eight and a half years for us to win our independence. It was not an easy way to go. Okay, bye bye.